This is the First Light Corrugate Foundry Pants in Dry Earth. I just got back from two days hunting. The colour is amazing. It fits in with the trees and the dry grass really well. We'll check the waterproofing. So it's got the DWR on the pants and you can see it's not bad. The knees and the butt are waterproof, but the water seeps in as you can see. Okay, but it slides off the DWR. So this is water repellent, that's waterproof. So now, even though it's soaked in, it's completely dry on the inside. I'll turn them inside out in a second. But I don't feel any wetness there. I feel a little cold, but no wetness. So, waterproofing on the knees. Let's flip it around. You're gonna have the same thing here. Waterproof butt. And DWR. Everywhere else. The water's beating. Comes off pretty good. The pants or the butt absorb it. Let's turn these inside out. You can see the water soaked in here, but you can see there's absolutely nothing. Totally dry. Very good. So I'm thinking on the high wear surfaces like your butt and your knees, they don't have the smooth DWR material. You can see the water just runs off because that's probably going to get worn off. So they've got a waterproof lining under there. So the water will absorb there but not get into your pants. And kind of see the water beating off there. You can see the knee pads are wet here. These are dry. And no water. There at all, the knees are totally dry. I've turned these pants inside out. Most of the material touching your skin is this honeycomb stuff, which is very comfortable. And the inside of the pants, it's almost quite fuzzy. Almost like sweatpants, but not quite as comfortable. But normally, like, if it's really cold, you know, 5 degrees Celsius and you're out hunting, I wouldn't want to be putting on a cold pair of pants. But these things, like I said, with the honeycomb here, and this fuzzy material is actually really nice. I've got no problems putting these on in the morning. And the difference from the outside, you can see it's very smooth. That's a little colder, but that doesn't touch your skin, so it's okay. The knee pads are very easy to take in and out. I can almost do it one-handed here. They just look like this. Pretty good. They do get hot. My legs get hot when I walk, especially with these. Um, the thing I do is I only wear one knee pad. I use it on my right knee, because when I'm shooting, I'll only go down on one knee. When I'm doing stuff, I'll go down on one knee. I won't need both. So that's a way around it. But if I had two knee pads on, my legs, uh, my knees, especially that area, would get hot. Someone on the reviews said the zipper gets pretty cold against your skin that's true it does get cold but only takes a second to warm up so for me that's not a big deal you know you got your boxes down to about here so a little bit above your knee is a little cold especially if you open them up to get some air vent when you zip it back up it's cold but like i said it's only like 10 seconds it's fine but i want to stress again just how comfy the other material is like look at this it's almost like sweatpant tracking material and then you got honeycomb most of the place so it's very easy to put on in the mornings when it's cold the air vents that is the zips the zips are very good quality very large this does dump heat really well my legs get really hot when i'm walking even in 15 degrees celsius weather um, which is quite cold my legs get hot so i always have to open these up um one of the downsides people were saying was there's no mesh lining I actually don't like the mesh lining because the mesh lining means the zip can only open up maybe one or two inches like this. But when it's hot, you want to open these right up and just dump heat. So 
I like how there's no mesh. Also, mesh could get stuck in the zip when you're zipping it up and opening it, so there's no fear of that. So I actually like these. Let's look at the pockets, two side pockets, and you can clip something here. These are really handy. There's a flap, there's a back cargo pocket and a zip pocket, so you've got two pockets in one, separated by some mesh. Same on this side. I slide my phone in here without the zip. Um, very, very handy just to take out any time. Back pockets. Double zip. Again, the zips are very good. It's always hard to do it one-handed. You kind of do the worm. Um, and mesh lining as well there. Did a lot of research on um, on different types of pants before I got these and I'm very, very happy with it. On the website review, someone said the fly was too short. Um, it's true. To pee, it is a little tight just with this fly. So pretty simple, you just unbutton this top button which has some first light badging on it. Undo the top button, undo your fly and you're ready to go. The four-way stretch on the pants, very comfortable. Okay, they move a lot. They're very comfy. When you crouch down or use the knee pads or whatever, you don't feel the pants riding up. They just stretch a lot and they're yeah, very maneuverable. Now the suspenders, while they're good quality and good elastic, they can come off like this. You can just pull them off. Um, I don't use them. One, I've got a, I use 30 waist for my pants, jeans, my whole life. And I bought the 30s here and they're perfect. They stay on just where they should without the suspenders. The other thing is if I'm wearing a t-shirt or a hoodie, unless I tuck it in and look like a tool, your t-shirt will hang down the front and the back and be held up here on the side. So I don't think that's comfortable and it looks stupid. So that's one of the reasons. Maybe if you wear this under everything, right on your, directly on your skin, then all your t-shirt can come over it and they'll be okay. Or you tuck everything in, um, you could do that too, I guess, but I don't like that. I bought these because of the color options. I love this dry earth color. It fits in well with the Aussie Outback. The waterproof knees and butt was a very, very good idea. Even though the water soaked in there, I tell you, it's dry underneath. These big zips, for heat dumping because my legs get really hot it was very good the overall quality i'm extremely extremely happy with i like how you don't have to zip up these pockets you just it's just a quick access and the last thing which might be weird to some people but for me i love the inside it's almost like wearing sweatpants like it's so comfortable to put on in the morning especially when it's cold so overall i would definitely buy these again you can compare the colors here. You got the First Light uh, Dry Earth Pants, Real Tree Edge Jacket. Hiding in the little, in the middle here, is the Spectre Neck Gator, and that one is the Cipher um, One Hundred and Fifty Men's Wick. <laughs>